Hey, adventurer, and welcome back to another relaxing video. Today, I thought we would take a look through a bit of a haul <laughs> for um, something that I picked up uh, online recently and made of a bit of a, um, I guess, a bit of a lockdown purchase because sometimes when it's late in the evening and you find yourself online, um, you end up buying things and <laughs> being roped into buying things. So I um, was baited hook, line and sinker into buying um, some things online <laughs> that I found on uh, TikTok, <laughs> which is um, just the top quality, best place to find any thing that you might need. Um, there are, I, I don't know if it's anybody else or if it's just me, but I have found a real trend on my For You page of of like companies selling or not even companies like people who've started companies that sell like massive bags of sweets and massive like bags of candy and they will pour in the UK we call candy sweets so if I'm saying sweets I mean candy um it's the same thing to us but um there are there are like these these TikTok accounts that will make massive tubs and they get like bins and just pour like loads of bags of sweets into the bins um and like pile them all up and then like jumble them up and like and then they portion them out and then make bags of that and like sell the bags and i was just t totally confused when i first saw them and was like what is this who are these people i like some of them i don't know if they're in their home or if they're in like I think some of them have done so well that they've been able to, like, open warehouses and, like, make it into a proper business. Just, like, I guess buying sweets on the internet and then putting them in bags <laughs> and selling them at a higher price. And for a long time I was like, who is buying this stuff? Like, who, who, I don't understand who is buying this. Um, and anyway fast forward about a week and uh it's me i'm buying this stuff and today we're gonna <laughs> today we're gonna look through my lovely uh haul video of some things that i picked up from the company that i <laughs> that i saw online please do not judge me okay i i fell for the trap and to be fair the one that i went with because there are some there are some of them that clearly are just like are just people that are buying them buying big bags of sweets online and then selling them um, the one that i went for and this is not a sponsored video it's not gifted or anything um the one that i went for sells like mostly like american snacks and um, american candy and soda um, and like old school they specialize in kind of like candy that you can't really get here in the uk or equally old school candy that's like not really around anymore so i didn't just buy a load of candy that I could have just gone to the shop and bought, like, to the store. Um, I kind of tried to go for stuff that was, like, I don't know, a bit exciting and a bit different. So I guess we'll have a look through that today. Um, it's been a couple of days since I have actually bought from there, so um, I have tried some of the stuff already, but that's fine. We can still go through it, um, and I'll talk you through what I got. This was only meant, when I bought this originally, it was only supposed to be, like, I don't know, I kind of just was interested to see, like, is this stuff actually going to come, or is this a, a scam, like, it's on TikTok, I don't know, but, um, spoiler alert, the thing came, um, and it arrived, and, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll buy more in the future. Some of the stuff I've tried, I'm like, oh, I didn't actually like it as much as I thought I would. Some of the stuff I think I'm going to like, and there was more stuff on the website that I wanted to buy, but I just didn't want to, you know, go all in too quickly so i didn't buy a massive i mean i just bought a few essentials you know just like a few also i don't know why it's come in a hershey's box because i didn't buy any hershey's um and it's come in a popped it says popped snack mix there is no pop snack mix um i don't even know what that is but spoiler alert that is not in this haul <laughs> so just so you don't feel baited um, there's none of that in there. Um, first of all, though, we do have um, a bunch of this, which looks like really cool. I have no idea. On this side, it says Jolly Rancher. I think this is maybe like 
packing stuff i don't know anyway and there was a load of that um and then like um uh, a flyer from the company with like a thing to win some money i guess and like my order so that's cool then the first thing that i brought when i was like a, a young child i remember going to the post office in the uk um and the, every post office would always have like um little corner shops sort of attached to them like little sweet shops and i remember these jellies that just i always used to buy as a child and would love and i have never seen them sold anywhere until now and i was like oh my goodness i have to buy these jellies so i bought myself <laughs> some jellies um i actually bought more but i've already eaten them um and i couldn't help it i could not help it they were like in these packets like these individual packets and you like pull them out of the packet and they're like jellies and they're cute um these ones are dinosaurs i don't know how well you can see the dinosaurs um and then i also bought um these ones are like sea ones so these ones are there's some seahorses and some dolphins and octopus and stingray and honestly kind of everything the colors though the color like the colors though right kind of everything um they i don't know what i was expecting them to taste like also you can like rip the individual ones i don't know what i was expecting them to taste like i guess just like gummy sweets right i guess i should just know that they're going to taste like gummy sweets um yeah i think that you know sometimes when you when you like have nostalgic memories about stuff um sometimes <laughs> the memory of the thing is better than the actual thing <laughs> and i think this is one of those occasions where i should have probably just left it in my memories <laughs> but you know what today we have learned a lesson some things are better left in your memory um so this one's one of the dinosaurs uh it doesn't say what this one is called diplo i guess that's the name of the dinosaur wow they've all got names on them <gasps> Oh, I should have eaten the T-Rex one. I'll save the T-Rex one for later. There's a Raptor, a Tricera, a Brachio. Oh my god, I didn't even realise they all have names on. And I've already eaten, like, one whole thing of this, and I didn't even see what the names were. But today we have Diplo. So I'm going to get him out of his packet. <laughs> and, like, you kind of, like, do some scooping and some, like, sticking. And I'm pretty sure they're, like, they're super sticky. Like... <laughs> it will just i mean it's jelly like what do you want um and it's kind of kind of stretchy but i mean they're not bad i honestly don't think they're like what i remember them as but they're not bad i don't think i'll buy them again but like it was worth it for the experience of the nostalgia, you know? And being like, oh my gosh, that's those sweets that I remember. So I don't know. I guess they're fine, but probably not going to buy them again. And I'm glad that I bought so many to learn that that, that was all I needed. <clears throat> so anyway, that was the jellies. Not bad. I also bought um some chocolate stuff so i bought these junior mints which i had only ever really seen these i go to america quite a lot so i'm quite familiar with like um candy over there and stuff like that i'd only ever seen junior mints like in the theaters like at the movies and stuff i've never really seen them sold at the shops so i'd never and they're always so expensive right the movies so i'd never bought them but I kind of like the look of them. The branding is kind of everything. I love the packaging. It's very like, you can't really see it because it's so blown out. It's kind of like old school American. I don't know. It's just a vibe. And it reminds me of the movies. And it reminds me of being in America. So it was cool. So these are creamy mints in a pure chocolate. So I think if you're in the UK, junior mints are kind of like poppets. Which are just kind of like poppets are more circular whereas these are more like i don't know 
a weird shape, more like minstrel shape. Um, and then these are more gooey than poppets, but they're still pretty good. Um, needless to say, um, because it's been a few days, um, I don't know what happened. Um, like, I don't know when mine got shipped. I don't know what happened, but um, I mean, they're pretty good. <laughs> so I enjoyed them. Um, and that's fine. I'm allowed to do I should have done this whole video earlier. Um, we are here now, and that is fine. Um, so anyway, moving on. <laughs> Another thing that I love whenever I'm traveling, I am addicted to Chips Ahoy. So I got myself some Chips Ahoy. They are so hard to get in the UK. If anybody knows where they sell Chips Ahoy, I'm down. Um, but I had to get some. They also sell Chips Ahoy in Europe. So whenever I go to, I go to Spain like every year. Um, and I go abroad in Europe um, all the time. Whenever I go, I always buy a whole packet of Chips Ahoy. I will bring some like snack bags home with me. They even sell, it's really weird, they sell Chips Ahoy at the airport in the UK. Like when you come back into the UK, they'll sell them at the airport there just before you leave. But you can't buy them in the UK. Like they don't sell them just in the shops around the airport. Like it's only there. Or like in other countries. So I bought some of those because, I don't know, I love Chips Ahoy. This was literally all I could get on the website, was just this tiny, like, the, these tiny little packs. Um, this is only four cookies, and, I mean, I know they've probably come over from America, but from the sounds of it... I don't know if you can hear that, but, like... That sounds like a few more pieces than four cookies, so... <laughs> I think they're all broken, <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, it's going to be more crumbs ahoy than chips ahoy, <laughs> I think. But you know what? I'm still going to enjoy it. Since, I mean, everybody has been staying inside, so we haven't been traveling, right? So I needed my chips ahoy fix that I haven't had for like a year because I haven't been able to travel for like a year. So for now, that's what we're doing. Um, moving on, so I bought some more candy as well. This was one of the ones that, like, um, the company do actually bag their own sweets and sell them, their own candy. Um, so these ones are rhubarb and custard pencils, which I don't know if these are, like, that popular everywhere. Um, but they're kind of like a, an old school snack. Um, and they're pretty good. They're just kind of like little tuby sweets, um, which taste like... Well, I don't know, rhubarb and custard, I guess. That's why they're called rhubarb and custard, but they're pretty good. This is a 200 gram bag. And they're kind of everything. They're kind of everything. They're so good. Which is probably why I've eaten like three quarters of them already. Because they're really good. And I don't think they're that bad for you. I mean... The number one ingredient is sugar, so actually, maybe, maybe never mind. Oh my gosh, I've just seen they're they're packaged by another company, not the pa not the company that I bought the sweets from. So the company that I bought the sweets from, they don't even make these; they just buy them in bulk. Oh. Okay. Well. I got debated by the company, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they're cheap for a 200 gram bag. I think this bag was like one pound or something. So that's kind of what you would buy them for in the supermarket. But I'm pretty, I don't know if you can buy those pencils in the supermarket or if they're like, I don't know. So that's fine. Um, one thing I know that you can buy in the supermarket, which I did buy, is um, strawberry pencils. I love, so rhubarb, rhubarb and custard ones are good, but I also love these strawberry pencil ones. Again, I don't know what happened during the shipping process, like, I'm thinking maybe I should file a complaint, because, hello, I don't, I don't know what happened to them, um, I'm pretty sure you can buy these in the UK, but again, they were a pound on the website, they are just like chewy, they're kind of like, um, what's the, is it red vines? The like, the, the tube, the red tubes in the US. They're kind of like them, but they have like a cream on the inside. So they're like creamy, sort of like strawberry sticks. Um, they are really good. 
as you can tell, um, and I enjoyed them, and they were a pound, so super fun. So I got myself some of those. Um, there is more. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about the next thing that I bought, because you honestly cannot buy telegrams in the UK for anything. Anything. I love telegrams more than you can imagine. Cinnamon is my all-time favourite flavour, and you literally cannot buy them. Except for on this website. So I bought some, and in fact, I bought about six bags. I think they were like two pounds per bag, so like really cheap, really good for like quite a big bag, to be honest. So I bought some of these. Um, I love them. I, I just, every time I used to go to the America as a kid, we had family over there, so we would always go and stay with them, and they had Teddy Grahams, and I would always buy Teddy Grahams, and they are just, they remind me of like, I don't know, like my childhood, right, growing up and, and going over to see my family, and when I tell you, they are like my favourites, they're kind of, for anyone who's not had Teddy Grahams, they're kind of like, um, in the UK we have animal biscuits, which are kind of like cookie biscuits, um, but the, the the animal biscuits have like a chocolate cover coating on them, whereas these are kind of just the plain biscuits, and then they have um, like a flavouring, so you can get ones that are, I think like chocolate fla or like cookie flavoured. Um, you can get cinnamon ones. They do honey ones. The cinnamon ones, a hundred percent by far, are my favourite. Like you cannot top these. I'm so happy. Normally they come in a box like the box of Teddy Grahams and the normal thing, but even the boxes were sold out on the website, like you cannot buy the boxes. So there was no boxes, so I had to instead just get some bags. I was really presently, presently surprised how big the bags were, because I thought they were going to be like those tiny little snack bags, but these ones are kind of big. They're like, um, how big are they? They're 85 grams, so that's quite good. So I bought like six just to keep me like topped up until I inevitably buy more from the from the website and um yeah i'm pretty happy with them like a good nostalgic snack and if you're in a country that has teddy grahams just like all the time then honestly i love that for you and i'm jealous of that for you but also live your life and i hope you enjoy teddy grahams on my behalf even though i have some now <laughs> um and then the last thing that i bought was something again that we don't get in the UK it was a drink so I bought myself some of these um we don't get them in the UK and I know this probably makes me basic as heck <laughs> but I bought myself some LaCroix because we don't get LaCroix over here and I wanted to buy myself some um for those who don't know LaCroix is basically like a sparkling water type drink um, that doesn't really have a whole lot of a flavour. Um, also, every single one came in bubble wrap, which I think is hilarious, because I bought, like, loads. Um, they're kind of like, yeah, sparkling water that, um, I don't know, people in my Twitch chat have been ripping me for buying them, because they taste just like basically sparkling water, even though, so, this flavour that I got was the berry flavour which you can't see because it's like blurred out, but it says berry on, oh no, that one's the lemon one, I'm sorry. Um, so this is lemon, which I'd never tried before, um, and then I have got some berry ones. I'm trying to like quietly unpackage them. There's so many that I won't be able to unpackage them all, but um, I also got um, some other flavors. So this one is, yeah, this is one of the berry ones, which, um, so I, having never tried LaCroix before, right, having, considering it's a new thing that we, like, don't get over here, I tried it yesterday <laughs> on stream for the first time, um, and I have another one here, I literally bought so many of them, like, the whole bottom of the box was full of them, and, um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like it, which is fine, that's fine, you know, sometimes you have to try things, to know if you're going to like them or not. And it turns out, I didn't like it. Um, I kind of wish that I hadn't bought this many. <laughs> like, I bought so many. Um, but you know what? I've still never tried the lemon one, so maybe I will like the lemon one. Maybe it will surprise me. The thing that people say about LaCroix is that they are very, like, faintly, 
like not scented flavored um so they don't really taste like much and the berry one i can attest to the berry one tastes like if you got a can of sparkling water that was like sold in the same shop as some grapes like it tastes like it's it tastes like sparkling water that's been in the same room as some grapes that's kind of what the berry one tastes like or like it it kind of tastes like it's sparkling water that was canned in a factory that may have also contained grapes <laughs> that's kind of like the level of flavor um, but maybe the lemon one will be different so do you know what we're gonna go for it we're gonna try it um so they haven't been refrigerated because i've just got them out of the box but we're gonna try it I'm hoping that's not gonna be too loud um and so i guess cheers i feel very basic but cheers Um, well, <laughs> I feel like kombucha girl. Um, I mean, I think the number one issue that I have is that I've learned that I don't really like sparkling water. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. I don't really like it. To be fair, the lemon one does taste lemony. The berry one, like, literally... Tastes like it was sold in a shop that down the road they also sell berry. Like, does not taste a berry. At least the lemon one, I can kind of taste lemon. So, I don't know. Maybe the lemon one's better. If I had to put them in, like, a ranked order, it would go lemon first. It would go berry after. And then I have other flavours, but to be honest... It's fine. We're just... If anyone wants some LaCroix, <laughs> I have many. Um, yeah. Sometimes you have to try things, right? To know whether you're going to like them or not. And I think the moral of the story today is exactly that. You've got to try things to know whether you like them or not. Um, it's going to make me gassy. So I guess that's kind of the end of my haul. <laughs> This won't be the last time that I do a haul from this uh, company. Or just in general, like American sweets and snacks and stuff, because um, I love trying new stuff that I've never had before. And I love the experience of just, um, yeah, tasting stuff and buying stuff online is kind of fun, especially when we're like all at home, right? And not really doing a lot. It's nice to have something different that you can't buy just anywhere. So let me know in the comments have you tried any of this stuff before um are you lucky enough to be in a country that has all of these things um are there any snacks or sweets that you think i should try next time because i am so down to do another video and try some more stuff but there is so much stuff to be fair i mean there's a lot of stuff that i have had because i go to the the usa like normally at least once a year um, either to see family or for work or to see friends I haven't been in like a year and a bit obviously because of the situation but normally um, yeah I go at least once a year so there's loads of stuff like I, that I have had like I've had a bunch of Hershey's stuff I've had um, some Reese's stuff um, what else have I had I'm trying to think I've had a bunch of stuff I've had some of the sweets some of the candy I love like Mike and Ike's I really like Milk Duds I'm a big fan of um but if you have any recommendations for other stuff you'd like to see me try on the channel or other things I should film for a video, then please let me know down below. I'd really appreciate that. Um, and we can definitely do a, a little part two. Or maybe if there's some like old school English snacks or, I don't know, Australian stuff. I saw the website sells like Tim Tams and stuff, so I've never had them. Maybe we'll have to get on that um, and try some new things. But um, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this slight Mm, fail? Mm, I guess it's not really a fail. I've got some good stuff. I got my Teddy Grahams. That's kind of a, everything. I got my strawberry sticks. <laughs> my rhubarb and custard. Um, you got to take the wins with the losses, you know? So anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, I've noticed that a lot of people that are watching the videos aren't yet subscribed, so I please would love if you would go and hit subscribe. It really means a lot to me. Um, and tap the bell like the video, do all of the things. That would be really cool. Um, and I'm going to be putting a load of other content out on this channel. So uh, keep an eye out on that. I hope if you are relaxing and uh, coming to the end of your day that you've had a good one. 
and that you uh, continue to relax and sleep well. Um, if it is still during your day, then I hope you have a good rest of it. I hope it is productive for you. Um, or if you're just hanging out, then I hope you get to chill because you deserve it. Um, and until the next one, thanks so much for watching. Take care.